Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about a very interesting condition um, that is called adult chlamydial conjunctivitis. The bug in question is called the chlamydia trochomatis bug and if you want to learn more about this then please stay tuned. Chlamydia or the bug chlamydia trochomatis can affect the eye in a variety of different ways. The first way it can affect the eye is by a condition called trachoma, which is one of the leading causes of blindness worldwide. The other cause of concern with a chlamydial infection is in the newborn population, where you can get a conjunctivitis infection, and this can potentially be sight-threatening. And then in the adult population, typically affecting sexually active individuals, you can get a chlamydial conjunctivitis. In addition to the eyes being affected, patients may have a array of other symptoms, including burning and stinging when trying to pass water, discharge from their genital reproductory organs, and in addition to this, they may describe rectal pain. In terms of the eyes, the textbook presentation of a chlamydial conjunctivitis is of somebody with a very gunky, dischargey eye, and in addition to this, their eyelids may be red and swollen, and patients may experience gritty-like sensation on the surface of their eyeball. Also, they may describe blurred vision. Due to the swelling of their eyelids, their actual eyelid may look slightly droopy compared to the other normal eyelid. In addition to the generalized lid swelling, the eyelids on the under surfaces may actually have classic appearances of follicles which are very hallmark and classically associated with a chlamydial infection. It goes without saying the eye will also look red due to the conjunctivitis. A careful and accurate history which needs to be taken in a sensitive manner and should include a sexual history needs to be taken from the patient. Usually it's a clinical diagnosis that is supported by swabs that are sent to the laboratory for confirmation of the diagnosis. Patients will be started on topical antibiotics and in addition to this lubricants may be helpful. After seeking attention to get the most up-to-date guidance from the local sexual health clinic, the patient will be started on the appropriate antibiotic treatment to try and eradicate the infection. Contact tracing will also need to be done to try and get to the bottom of the other individuals that are potentially infected with the chlamydial microorganism. Thank you for watching this short video about how chlamydia can affect the eye. It can be a potentially embarrassing condition for patients to present with, but it is important that they do, and it is equally as important that they are diagnosed and managed appropriately very early on to try and prevent complications from occurring. If you like this video, then please click on the bell icon, the like button, and the subscribe icon. Until next time, please take care and thank you so much.